Yeah. So, I mean, Salt won huge upset over Abadongo in yeah. winner's quarters, I believe. So, um, known for his cloud, but definitely has the Roy as well. Yeah. He, uh, you know, I feel like he's one of the few people really showing what cloud can do in this game. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of cloud mains don't play him anymore or just switch off something else, but he has been showing off so well. His movement is so crisp in this game. So you're telling me all the people that main Cloud in Smash 4 didn't like Cloud for Cloud, they just played him because he was extremely strong? No way. It's a possibility. I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I thought that we had so many hardcore Final Fantasy 7 fans. I, they all love what, Final Fantasy. What right? happened to them, man? They're, they're, they're gone. Salt 1's like the only one, like Salt 1 and Spargo are the only like two really good Clouds I see nowadays, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't, who, who else plays Cloud at a high level? Uh, Ned dropped him. Yeah, crickets, man. I just hear oh, crickets. Yeah. <laughs> But right now, Kamehameha doing a very solid job. No Mega Man. Yeah, he's picking Wario. You know, I honestly, uh, I, as a Wario man myself, I, you know, I, okay. Wario, I feel like that's just really bad in this matchup. But he's making it look good. Yeah. You know, thus far, he's been avoiding a lot of the issues that I feel like, you know, generally people would say. Now, the up out of shield from Cloud is such a good option. Biggest upgrade, for sure. Like, oh, yeah. Cloud got nerfed a lot in this game, but up was the biggest, like, "Quote unquote buff or compensation this character got uh, it comes out extremely fast and does like That's pretty much nineteen damage. And there's the neutral. Like you said, it's a uh, it does kill. It has to be very high percent. But having a command grab that kills, uh, sign me up, man. Yeah, I mean it. They they nerfed it in uh, in a in a sense in that it doesn't catch as many different get ups. It used to catch attack get up, normal get up, some jump get ups. You know, it used to catch a lot. Now it doesn't catch as much, but it straight up kills the ledge around one fifty. You know, past that, That's a lot of characters. Super solid. Oh yeah. Man, Kamehameha yeah. doing a really good job yeah. in this oh, matchup. Because yeah. in Smash 4, definitely Cloud won, but <laughs> that was like a combination of like the matchup and like Cloud just being an extremely better character oh, yeah. than Wario. <laughs> now, yeah, he, I mean, he's Wario, Wario obviously being such a great character in this game. Oh, man, that shield was Ooh, looking shield tiny. Was tiny. Woo. Oh, he was going for the waff right there. Yeah, and right now, Kamehameha could have a very good setup. Falling up air, already looking for it, trying to get the tech yeah. chase. Now, even fa up tilt. Falling up air is actually... Uh, it, it's very safe on shield. So oh, yeah. It's, it's something that you can fish for, but, and, and, like, if you can fish in that particular range, Cloud can't really, like, jump up to intercept you, like, falling onto him. Yeah, exactly. Cloud, definitely a character that, usually if you're falling down on him, he doesn't have crazy amount of options. Like, he does have, like, up air and up tilt as anti-air, but he has to kind of set that up before. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So He's got a little more space above him to be able to get it out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. going for the top. Ooh! Salt one just reacting perfectly. Yes. <laughs> just being like, all right, I'll, I'll just fair you. Kamehameha waiting it out yep, on the yep. platform, trying to get as much waft. Wait, I mean, he was already at max waft. Maybe yeah. he was just kind of taking his time. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, dash attack. Such a great kill move as well. It, it, it won't kill quite yet, uh, down tilt dash attack. Yeah. But it, it, it should be killing, like, you know, another 10, 20%. Yeah, Wario definitely uh, catching a lot of the uh, Sakurai's blessing coming into this game. Oh, dash yeah. attack getting, um, being a kill move. He was just so bad in Smash 4 that, like, he's so much better and viable. I wouldn't say he's, like, crazy broken, but, like, he is a very, quote, unquote, meta character for sure. Saw one was looking for the we're looking for the, the cross right there. Doesn't get it. This is the crab. Oh, just hits him with the slap. Slap in the face. Slap, slap, slap. Get out. Get this cloud out of here. And I mean, honestly, I mean, we're we're seeing it pretty close. I like the smash DI coming out from Kameme going like out and away. Yeah. Essentially, if you don't get hit by the full up B, um, it just doesn't do as much. We see 6.4. Oh yeah. Or I mean, it just doesn't do as much. Period. But like, oh, but here's the up throw up air. Now this is when he starts really dangerous. You know, right about here, I think he did nair waft him. Up tilt waft will start working very soon. Yeah. Oh, now, now, yeah. Oh, see oh you later. got off him. Stage, even across the stage. I mean, Salt One had to have been holding left because he probably thought he was going right. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's the only way I can think that was. Some, sometimes it's hard stage. to tell with the waft. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you got you have to be so quick too. So, really, really good stuff from Kamehameha. Just so, so clutch. And I mean, honestly, bringing it out with the Wario. And yeah. I mean, we've seen. Kamehameha was definitely known in Smash 4 for like the mostly Mega Man. We saw Sheik as well. But now we're seeing a lot of Wario Mega Man, I feel like, in this oh, game. Oh, yeah. You know, he had a Wario back at, back in Smash 4. It wasn't He didn't use it very often. But, you know, occasionally he'd pull it out randomly. Especially in doubles. We saw yeah, him using yeah. doubles, you know. It was uh, definitely the poor man's cloud because he couldn't charge the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, right here we're going to have uh, Roy Wario. Now, hi. I, I don't know. Uh, Salt one. It seems that he always starts out sets with his cloud. Yeah. Uh, and then he pulls out the Roy, and his Roy is so good and so fast. But you know, I wonder like, it's not going to be as susceptible to some of the things that that uh, Cloud is susceptible to in this matchup. 
So I feel like right. you can just keep the pressure on a lot harder. Like, Cloud is still really good, but I think it's definitely agreed on upon the community that, like, Roy and Krom are better than Cloud. So oh, definitely yeah. kind of hitting the upgrade button on that sword there in terms of character. So right now, I mean, Salt One looking like it's uh, very nice. I feel like Roy has a lot better burst options in the area that he can rise with being like Nair and Fair and stuff like that. So yeah. he can kind of put Wario in check because Wario definitely a character that can get suffocated Ooh. air to air if he doesn't have like, doesn't beat out in range rise. Oh, yeah. All right. So, oh, so putting himself on stage right there. I think he was trying to go for the ledge trump. Yeah. yeah. All right. Ooh, Ooh this, the pivot cancel F tilt. If that was Krom, though, that might have killed. Oh, just jumping down like that. Okay. Waiting for it. Oh, tries to get that up tilt. And we looking for... This is where, like, Roy can have a little bit of trouble because a lot of his setups around, like, 80 to 100 are just so powerful they kill. Yeah. But then, like, once you hit this percentage mark, you need that solid kill. And sometimes you just keep getting that wet noodle hit. You know what I mean? So we'll see if uh, Salt One... Again, there's the wet noodle hit on the back here. Like, oh, yeah. It's, it's such a big deal. Up there, we'll start killing around maybe 160 with this kind of rage. Yeah, Wario's definitely totally a big sure. Yeah, he's... Rinse oh. and repeat. Get yeah, off they keep doing stage. it. I mean... All right, what, what can he do to really get out of this corner? Oh, gets the fair. Stick Wario's the so out, good man. at just being able to weave in there. Yeah. His air mobility definitely up there. Ooh, the up air. Yes. He goes to the back air and somehow just slips right in with that up air. Oh. Maybe some kind of hurt box shift or something of the sorts, but yeah, yeah. that up air going to be a sword as well, so kind of beating out that back air. And Salt One has an opportunity to get an incredible lead. Oh, does the normal get up? Yep. Uh, you can't normal get up on Wario against yeah. Wario. You got to be really careful, too. I, I feel like Kamehameha was really saving that for the kill. And that's what you know can kind of separate the good from the great. Like, you can kind of do options and be like, oh, hey, like, I can really catch his normal get up with this, but right here, Kamehameha saving those kind of ledge options for the kill, you know? Yeah. Oh, he's trying to get something to start. Oh, with the down air. Yo, the I drill, mean, though. <laughs> the, the bike's a fair. Okay. I like the patience from Salt One. Oh, but wow, the bike. The Ooh. bike, you know, it, 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 when Smash 4, it was such a, it was an option that it would do damage, but it didn't really kill anybody. Now, just straight wow. up dropping it on the, jumping up into the up air. That was amazing. He didn't even try and set up Ooh. into it. But he falls into the F smash. Dang. All right. Okay. All right. Tries, tries to go for it again. Oh, no, he didn't even get punished, though. I mean, what a, a that's a very good like combo breaker too. There is armor on that as yeah. well. We'll see right now someone with little rage. Get, if he gets a jab, he can get it. Oh my goodness, the bike actually stopped the confirm. If you get falling there one like that, okay. I mean he's gonna close it out anyway, but it's just funny that the bike uh, actually yeah, stopped yeah. his confirm. <laughs> okay, there's the up air right now. Good center stage control. Ooh. That shield looking so low on command, man. You know, a lot of times, you know, Roy can can aerial on uh, on Warrior Shield and then just immediately jab. Yeah. And a lot of times he can't get out of it. I mean, you know, Nara Shield is, is an amazing option the Warrior is blessed with in this game. But it doesn't always, it, you know, it's not, depending on how he's facing, it's not always going to work. All right, slowing it down, of course. Uh, Kameme is going to stall out as much time as he has to to get another waft online. Oh, you know yeah. What I mean? And that's the one thing about Warrior. The longer the match is going, which is why I think a three stock format is so good with Wario. Oh, yeah. Ooh, tried to get the slap on that upbeat. Is a disjoint. Ooh, nice okay. direction, Air Dog. Just waiting. I think, I, I believe he's half off with it in time. Yep. Yeah, wow. Okay, Kameme, very, very clean there with the parry into the walk. I don't see too much Warriors do that. I saw, I did come commentate a little bit of Kameme. He did do that at the Mango, or, I mean, during his stay in SoCal. But, uh, man, just so co confident, man. Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, the timing was almost perfect. He just got that half walk. Yeah, You exactly. know, he, he was, it was about, it was, I think, two minutes in exactly whenever he used the full walk. He used it almost as soon as he got it. And then right there, you know, after a minute he got it, and there was only at four minutes, so he's like perfect timing almost for him to get that and parry it. Yeah, and he got the parry center stage as well. That's how strong this waft is. You can clear out stocks no matter where you are on the stage. You can be in the middle, you can be by the edge. It's just so, so strong, and Kamehameha definitely abusing that. Dang, my man saw one trying to put this man in the combo video, though. Yeah. Ooh, falling up here, getting up. Oh, jab. Damn, he's really trying to end his soul right now. I, I, I yeah. definitely respect it, though, because that's one thing, even though, like, I feel like some top players or even, like, some spect some people will spectate top players and be like, man, he's going for all these crazy, you know, hits, and he's not landing any of them. He, like, sucks. But it's just like, even if you're not landing your moves, as long as you're still confident, you're in the set. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Once you lose your confidence, like, you might as well just roll it up because you're, yeah. you're not going to win. you got to be in your bag. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, pretty much tick for tack here. Um, pretty even set. And I, I like that Salt One is kind of upping the pace a little bit because like Ooh, we said oh he missed oh, the sweet spot on the back here man and those are the situations where you really want to abuse the fact that you're roy you know what i mean oh yeah Ooh, all right grab. what's he gonna do up up throw he just wants to get him a situation where he can rack some more damage 
Uh, he knows, you know. Okay, dropping the bike into a fair. I love that. Is that, that. Oh, is that? Did he use his jump? Okay. Yeah, I guess the jump was gone there. That was yeah. so clean from Kamiri. Yeah. I think he baited him to thinking, oh, I'm going to throw the bike. No, I'm just going to drop up and, and you know, tap you. But yeah, Salt One coming right back and striking with vengeance. Oh, there. these amazing Ooh, streams Jesus. of platforms. Already 63%, and Kamehameha is not done. We are nearing, man. And that's one move. I mean, probably one of Wario's best moves for sure. Like, it's just so good combined with his air mobility. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, just. All right. I like the back air coming out. Salt One getting a little aggressive with these landings, making sure that Kamehameha can't just run over him. Yeah. Roy and Kromp, so good at jumping to the ledge, but Kamehameha just skirting around him every time. Ooh, oh, he reading that he was going to jump into the bike. Yeah, yeah. And he, he walked to the bike there because he was trying to extend the hurt box. So some people, you'll, you'll catch him off guard, essentially. So. Yeah. But, I mean, that was a big one. Um, I mean, Waft getting burdened in around 6'10". So it usually takes about a minute and a half for the next Waft to be primed or for a half Waft to be able to kill. So Kamehameha actually using a pretty big resource there. Ooh, Ooh. there's a clank. I like the fair coming out. Um, Salt One getting back to the ledge. Very aggressive. Almost gets that air dodge, but to the platform we go is Kamehameha. Okay, All right, using the bike, bike going, going to the stage. Doesn't want to get trapped with ledge, but you know, I mean, he ends up in a very similar situation just on their side. But it looks like he's going for that down tilt dash attack. Oh, yeah, and right now, oh! oh the chomp at the ledge! You cannot normal get up against <laughs> this character when you're in death percent. You, you kind of sound like a broken record, man. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> but I mean, it's because Kamehameha's been getting it so much, and he always, always, always saves it for the kill. Yeah, he ne you don't see him just chomping the ledge at any percent. He's only doing it when exactly when it'll work. Yeah, and I mean, it's just working out. But Salt One, once again, coming back, getting the stock immediately. But, you know, we have some time to go from the WAF. A minute has already passed, another 30 seconds. WAF will be online. So we got to be careful about that. Salt One, definitely bringing it back there. Okay, can we make it put it in the corner right here? Oh, that parry. Ooh, was the parry so cool. was so scary. Uh oh. Oh, that was so smart. Dropping to the platform, knowing he was just going to drop ah. an aerial right there. Ooh, there's a down, down air. air. Offstage situation. Nope, Kamehameha just going to opt for the ledge trap here, trying to oh, get the still set up. He was going for the light hit so that he could combo into half off. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's a, it's about that time. But the up air strings. Salt One's not done quite yet. He wants to stay in this winner's bracket. Beautiful reaction coming out from Kamehameha. Doesn't want to get Trump back here there. That could have been it. Roy back here so strong. Ooh, that was so scary for Kamehameha. Okay, thought he was going to go for the cross up here. And both players being very creative with the cross. Oh, just reading the roll in. And I will say, you know, it sounds it seems like you know he just read every option, but he was so good at covering every option that Salt One was picking throughout that set that you know that's why he was getting the normal ghost because everything else was getting punished. Yeah. And he was like, I just want to get on the stage again. Exactly. You yeah. Know? And I mean, just like you pointed out, the, the ledge play, phenomenal coming out from Amazing. Kamehameha. Um like we saw the normal get up coverage with the bite, and that just did so many stocks in, and then just like how he positioned himself, how he utilized Waft, like I feel like that's when Wario, it, it can be really hard for them to get s certain wins is if they can't really like get certain wins.